Ladies, um, it's Mr. Spence here, um, and also alongside Mrs. Scriven and Mr. Chapel. Um, we wanted just to say um, good morning, happy new term. Um, so today's the beginning of term four, um, and this year's been racing along, hasn't it? And, and it's been quite different, um, and we don't quite know at the moment what term four is going to look like. I think we're going to look forward to hearing from um, Boris Johnson, our Prime Minister, who's going to talk to us a bit about what might be happening about schools and hopefully whether we're able to bring the ch all the children back in as soon as we can and um, but it's great to see you and, and we'll obviously tell you more about that as we know about it and and today we're going to launch um two things one is our new value um and our value for this term is going to be the value of trust and so we're going to be thinking about what it means to have tr to trust other people um trust each other trust our parents trust the staff um, and think about putting that into practice. Um, but we're also uh, going to be really excitingly launching a bit of a, a bit of a challenge for us. And we're going to talk to you about that um, in a moment. It's a, a challenge for you every day of this whole term, all the way up to Easter. And we'll talk to you a bit about that in a second. But before we do that, um, I thought I'd just ask Mrs. Scriven and Mr. Chapel if they have just share a little message to you, particularly to each school community, as we come back um, come back to school. So who, who wants to go first? I'll go first. Go for it, Mrs. Scriven. <laughs> I just want to say hello and welcome back to all our children and families at St Mary's. I am so impressed with how well you coped and how hard you worked last term, whether you're at home or whether you're at school. Um, and I really look forward to seeing um, some of your learning coming in via Dojo in the next few weeks. And ultimately, I'm really excited for the day that we can be back together as a whole school community again. So um, until then, you'll see us here on screen. Bye bye. And Mr Chapel. Morning everybody, um, St Mary's um, parents, families and children in school, but also a very um, good morning to St Helen's children and families. Um, it's great to be here with you again. I hope you had a great half term break. Just a bit like what Mrs Griffin was just saying, we know you did a phenomenal effort in term four, uh, in term three. I'm, I'm already like preempting that you're going to do so. a great effort in term four as well. In term three, you did a great effort and Obviously, our value of um, flying high and our vision for all of you, you did that so well, whether you were at home working really, really hard and engaging with all the work that was being set or whether you were in school as well. So our message to you is keep going. And, and as Mr. Griffin said, hopefully we'll see you very, very soon in school. We can't wait to see you all back in school so that we're all reunited um, together again. So the message. So just keep going, you're doing brilliantly, and hopefully see you very, very soon. Amazing, thank you. Yeah, so so um, you did so well last term, and like this term, home learning is running just like it was last time. So posting lots of things on Dojo, keeping in touch with your teacher, that would be amazing. Um, we've also got World Book Day coming up, um, just a week on on Thursday, I think it is. Um, we'll, we'll definitely tell you a bit more about that, but chance to dress up as well as a favourite book character. So loads of things happening too. Um, Mrs. Mrs. Scriven, Mrs. Chapel, did either of you have any pancakes this week? Did, did you, oh, did you just a few. Just a few. Yeah, quite we, a few. Quite a few. Um, uh, have you got a favourite? <laughs> you got a favourite topping? Oh, I we had a bit of chocolate spread with banana and a little bit of whipped cream. Oh, nice. Different flavour. Very nice. No, uh, my, mine's just um a little bit of um drizzled lemon and, and oh, a little good. bit of sugar over the top. I'm, I'm not yeah. Lots That's of my son's the chocolate was flying around in the rest of the household though on their pancakes, but yeah. I kept it kept, kept it simple. Well, um, pan so pancake day is uh obviously was this week, um, but the day after pancake day um is the beginning of Lent. So Lent started this week, and Lent's a Christian festival. Um, that's celebrated all around the world by Christians and it lasts all the way through term four. So we thought um, we'd think a little bit about Lent today and then we're going to launch a special challenge that we've got for you. So before um, we talk to you about the challenge, we're going to show you a little video um, which explains what Lent is and a little bit about it. Um, maybe you've already been thinking as, you're, as a family or at home about Lent. Some people give things up for Lent. Um, so let's have a watch of this video um, and then we'll be back together in a second. Okay, I think we're ready. Do you know what day it is, Sasha? Pancake day! Yeah, that's right. But the proper name for it is Shrove Tuesday. Shrove Tuesday? Yeah, and tomorrow is the start of Lent, the 40 days leading up to Easter, when we remember the Christian story of the temptation of Jesus. What's that? After Jesus' baptism, the Holy Spirit guided him into the wilderness where he spent 40 days and 40 nights without food. 
The devil tried to tempt him to do things. For example, turn stones into bread to eat. But Jesus refused every time. That sounds really hard. It was. That's why we usually give up something for Lent, like sweets or fizzy drinks, to remember how Jesus resisted temptation. Do you know what the day after Pancake Day is called? Um, Biscuit Day? No, silly. It's called Ash Wednesday. It's the first day of Lent. In many churches, the vicar will make the sign of the cross on people's foreheads with ashes. This symbolises that we feel sorry for any bad things we've done. I didn't know that. Now you do. OK, go get Mum so you can make pancakes. Yay! There we go. So um, it took that that was the very beginning of, of Lent just before this week. And then Lent was then is then the season where Christians are waiting for and thinking about um, Easter. Um, and so people will give up things during the Lent period. But what we thought we might encourage us to do as a school is to take on um, 40 things that are really positive um, over this Lent season. So we're going to call um, it 40 acts, 40 acts of kindness, 40 acts of generosity, 40 ways that we think about other people, maybe think about our world. And I'm just going to quickly share um, another screen with you, um, which has got some ideas on. Now, we're not going to do this exactly the same um, as the things that I'm going to show you now. Um, so this is um, a thing, 40 Acts, brought, it's brought to us by a charity called Stewardship. So they work with schools and families to, to think about 40 different things you can do. And they've come up with 40 things. Now, we can't do all of these 40 things um, at, at the moment because we're not all together. So some of these things might be quite difficult to do. Um, so, for example, number 10, walk to school um, or park your car a bit further away. Well, if you're not going to school, that's hard to do. But we're going to be coming up with 40 things. And what we're going to do is we're going to post on Dojo um, one thing every day that you can try and do um, as an act that's kind, um, as an act that thinks of other people, that thinks about our environment. Um, and we thought as a whole school community, then we could take on these 40 things um, together. So what I've done is I've asked uh, Mr. Scribb and Mr. Chapel just to pick maybe one or two of these things that they think they might be able to try and do or that might particularly stand out to them. Um, and we're going to quickly talk about a couple of things that, that then you might be able to do. So, Mrs. Scribb and Mr. Chapel, have you got one of those things that stood out to you that you thought sounds like a good one to do? Yeah, there's a couple there. I really like the sound. There were two, actually, that, I, that really jumped out to me. Um, the one here, which I think is number four, to let people go ahead of you all day. Now, I think sometimes you're in such a rush to do things and get places that you don't always think of um, other people before yourself. So that was something I was thinking I was going to try and do. And also there was another one um, that, oh, I can't see which one it is, but it was about leaving a little note, a thank you note. Because I think sometimes saying thank you goes a long way. And sometimes when you say it verbally, it's um, perhaps in the moment, it's lost in conversation. But if you give it to somebody a note and they can look at it and reflect on it later on, um, that's more likely perhaps to stick with people. So that's two, there are two things I'm going to think about doing. That's amazing. Mr. Chappell, do you have anything that stood out to you? Yeah, not, not just for myself, but um, I quite like number 27. So say a nice thing about someone to somebody else. So when you're thinking, thinking obviously we've been at home for the last week, half term, and, and my own sons and the way they've been um, playing board games, we've just been talking about before the assembly, about playing board games and, and how they've reacted to each other. And, and sometimes they haven't been as nice to each other, as complimentary to each other as they possibly could be. So it got me thinking how nice and an act of kindness, if we're all nice to each other, if we look every single day to give a compliment to somebody, to say, well done for something that something's been done and to just be nice and say something nice. So I think that's one that we're certainly gonna be trying in the chapel household um, mm. for, for the children themselves to each other obviously we're always nice to them um, but we, we just think it would be really really nice for you to obviously um, think about who you are complimenting and saying nice things to each other so that that particularly caught my eye that's well. amazing I'll tell you what I had a bit of a, ch a giggle over one of them though Mr Spence there's one about um, cl um, doing cleaning up after somebody else and I thought this is something that our parents at home will will find um funny as well because as parents we we feel like we're always cleaning up after somebody else so I don't feel like I need to do that on myself but children <laughs> if you if you really wanted to do something that was going to really 
um, please, somebody in your house, maybe not only think about clearing up after yourself after lunch, but maybe clearing up after one of your parents, and that would go a long way to show your gratitude to them. That's, that sounds like a, that would be a great idea. Something I'm going to recommend to my kids as well. There's, there was another <laughs> one. I'd like yeah. to there's one about not interrupting and listening to people, which which is a really sometimes a really difficult. I find that really difficult sometimes to do when I've got something I want to say. I try and say it, whereas actually often I'd be better just to listen instead. But anyway, we're going to launch the first one today. So the first challenge for you today. So this is Monday, um, the beginning of term four. Our first challenge is, is challenge one. You might have spotted it on the grid and it is to list. So make a list, write down or draw a picture. So you could choose either list it or draw it. 10 things that you are thankful for so at the moment when we're in lockdown i certainly can find it hard to complain about lots of things that i'm finding difficult at the moment but actually what a great thing to do to try and think of 10 things that you are thankful for today um, and what we'd love you to do with this first one we won't be asking you to do this for all of them because because you you'd be hard to do for all of them but put it on dojo so if you can make a list of 10 things that you're thankful for today draw a picture 10 things you're thankful for post it on dojo to share it with your teacher and um, they'd love to find out as well um, and we'll hopefully share some that we've done as a class um, today in school so rather than a reflection question we've got an action for you to do so 10 things that you're grateful for you can talk about it as a class now talk about it as a family but that is your first um act um and then there'll be 40 to come every day posted on dojo um as we look to as a whole community of schools um put lots of this into practice and make our schools just brilliant places to be because we're thinking about other people um and not just ourselves so that's our um little welcome back assembly for today we hope you have a brilliant day of home learning and whatever you're going to be doing or if you're in school we hope you've had a great day too we'll look forward to seeing you um, hopefully very, very soon. Um, so take care of yourselves and we'll say goodbye now. So take care. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.